it's time. It's time to put a spotlight on the elephant in the family courtrooms of southwestern Ontario. It's the one that took my children, my purpose, my happiness, my health, my home, all of my money, and the trust and respect I once had for the administration of justice. It did not take my integrity or my hope that truth and justice can and will prevail. Like me, most people only become aware of the elephant after being caught. The archipelago of family courts in Ontario form a nexus of oppression, similar to the elephant that's still trying to crush me. Here we have a leg, the trunk, a head, its back, a tail, and two more legs. Like the infamous Gulag Archipelago, the Family Court Archipelago needs organs to keep the elephant alive. A brain in Sarnia, the heart in London, courage in Kitchener, balls in Barry, the wizards of Osgood Hall in Toronto, and an asshole in Owen Sound. Honest lawyers admit that some lawyers defiled justice and managed to get away with a family fortune. But none of the victims taken into custody seem to know exactly how they did it or how to catch them. Using cannabis to treat my trauma and to filter the internet, I found reasonable grounds to believe that the organs operate like casinos to confer financial benefits to criminals organized into four distinct gangs, judges, lawyers, police, and court staff. They exploited our high conflict custody battle for profit by fanning the flames of our mental illnesses. They allowed and encouraged the mother of my sons to use them as weapons of revenge against me. They avoided arrest and prosecution through corruption and the use of force and threats. This ongoing true story of Raven and the Beast is about a homeless, mentally ill man fighting wicked witches and flying monkeys along the yellow brick road to find a good witch who will stop the abuse and end the torture being endured by all families who have been caught by the elephant in the family courtrooms of southwestern Ontario. Here is the plan. According to the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedom, every individual is equal before and under the law and has the right to the equal protection and equal benefit of the law without discrimination. The Yellow Brick Road to Justice for Criminal Acts begins with Section 504 of the Criminal Code. A prosecution begins when an information is laid in writing and under oath before a wizard. Flying monkeys in Toronto, Hamilton, Barrie, Newmarket, Kitchener, and Owen Sound have obstructed my right to prosecute the gangsters that have stolen my sons and thrown me into debtor's prison. I am not alone and we all stand on the shoulders of giants for change. Stephen Baskerville gave credence to the war against fathers, marriage, and families. M. Scott Peck gives us hope for healing human evil. Richard Dawkins has explained why lawyers continue to betray the public trust. Dr. Craig Childress has synthesized the foundations 
of attachment-based parental alienation, now more appropriately called pathogenic parenting. Stephen Covey and Jordan Peterson have given me courage to change the corrupt legal system that preys upon the mentally ill and most vulnerable among us. And to Christ Almighty, who taught me to love my enemy. The truth and the internet are mightier than the beast. True crime in real time will be reported from here in the belly of the beast, on the mountain, near the forest, in Raven's studio. Well, I will make the case to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the elephant in southwestern Ontario is really a bunch of wicked witches and wizards with no courage, no heart, no brains, and no balls that do not give a shit about me, my ex-wife, or my two adult sons. Section 15 of the Charter and Section uh, 507 of the Criminal Code give me the right to privately prosecute the 31 gangsters and government actors responsible for extorting me, my ex-wife, and our children. Watch and cheer as I battle the beast to escape indentured slavery and reunite with my sons so that we may once again enjoy the life, liberty, and security of the persons that are guaranteed by Section 7 of the Charter of Rights. You are the judge and jury in this court of public opinion. Have organized criminals working through the superior courts stolen our charter rights? Will justice prevail? Or will Raven be squashed, screwed, and shit on? Come back daily for updates and you can help be the change by mailing your opinions to Courageous Raven, Private Prosecutor, Box 705, Mount Forest, Ontario, N0G 2L0. To those 31 criminals who will be affected by my unkindness, you have nothing to fear but the truth of your self-betrayal. And that truth can set you free. You cannot break the natural law. You can only break yourself against the natural law. I may blink, but I'm not blind. I am oppressed, but unconquered. I am homeless, but not helpless. I am mentally ill, not stupid. Whole food, fresh air, clean water, and cannabis are the wind beneath my wings. I am Courageous Raven, private prosecutor, and I am going to bring you to justice. If not me, then who? If not now, then when? It's time.